Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You're welcome to today's episode of Sahur Kitchen. My name is Amina Adams. It's the head to head this year. SubhanAllah, Ramadan is fast winding down. And I just pray that we are amongst those that have witnessed the Laylatul Qadr, if it has gone, if it's still ahead of us, that we are amongst those that will witness it. SubhanAllah, that single night, that R, is the equivalent of 83 years plus of worship. That's a thousand months worth of worship. How many days are you going to spend on earth um, to earn that credit in your account? So let's do everything um, we can to ensure we witness that R. Let's wake up our family members, SubhanAllah. Let's wake up our friends. Let's stick together. It's a painful thing. If, you're, if you love your sleep so much, it will be painful to stay up for that lengthy hours. But give it all it takes. Jannah is not an easy walk. It's not going to be a walk in the park. SubhanAllah. So we have to give it all it takes to earn that jana. This year's kitchen is called Right Foods Limited, makers of right sausages, biggie sausages, biggie water, biggie drinks, fearless energy drink, and of course the latest kid on the block, Sosa Fruit Drinks. We're also sponsored by Aspera Nigeria Limited. They're the makers of Viva Plus Detergent and Viva Plus Dishwashing Liquid. If you love what you see, the hijab, the gown, everything is from Alamin's place, you want to start placing your orders for aid. If you already have your aid clothing, you can order for a friend. It'll be a beautiful gift to get this season. Let me bring on my guests, get the kitchen on the way, stay with us. Welcome back, we're just about to bring on the guests, so you're right on time. Um, cooking in the kitchen today are two loving sisters. For a very long time, I used to see I mean, in my head, it's you always see them together. I am almost certain that they will be in the same place. And I even put it to the test today, but I got my fingers burnt. <laughs> right, they are both actors, yes, filmmakers, producers, but they also have separate career paths. One is a caterer, um, she owns the kitchen, she runs the kitchen. The other person is into fashion. Who am I talking about? The kitchen today is dedicated to the Kapi Dikpe. So first up in the kitchen, Kabira Kapi Dikpe, a.k.a. Arapa Regungo. Uh-uh. Salam alaykum, sis. Wa alaykum So taking on the challenge, because um, she challenged her sister, her sister Aisha Kapi Dikpe, who's a CEO. Onje, olonje, ili olonje, ili onje, everything onje. You know how it is, sister Aisha. Short notice, I can tell you what's subhanallah. You know when you are you own your thing, like mm, mm -hmm. shape mm -hmm. my food, let's go there. How they want to let's go there. <laughs> let's get to know more about them, we'll be right back. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Kabira Kafidikbe. I'm um, an actor. I also am an entrepreneur. I am the owner of Kabi's Creative Care Products. Um, my name is Aisha Kafidikwe. I'm an actor and a filmmaker, a writer, um, and a cook. Everyone likes me. Everyone likes anything I cook, so I believe I'm a cook. Um, my hobbies, I love to, live, to be around nature like going to the beach. I, I love filming, I love traveling, I love art. I'm here to cook the head-to-head -head stuff with my sister. And um, I'm very sure, I'm very good at what I do. So watch out for me. My cooking skill, I can say I, I am very adventurous when it comes to cooking. I mean, even my sister can attest to that. Ah, it's only God that is perfect, but well, I'll be very close to perfection. That my sister, that she runs a food business. The best cook that I know so far is uh, my sister. Um, I think all my mother's um, girls can cook, but she's one of the best. I think she has that special and blessed than us. I mean, but everyone is blessed. She's super when it comes to cooking, anything at all. She's very, very super. I mean, you guys should watch out for her. And then if I'm to rate her, I'll say 10 over 10. Actually, there are some aspects when we are cooking in the kitchen together, when we are in the kitchen together, I feel there are some things I prefer her to do for me, you know? So 
I'll give her 80. Well, honestly, she, she will give it to me. I mean, just listen to her when she comes on. She's good, but she, she knows I'm still her boss sometimes. Yeah, so I'm not, yes, friendship. I've watched what people say, but we're just going to have fun and maybe make friendship and I'm going to compete with her today. It's about that time for the biggest Muslim family event in Nigeria. And this edition will be a Viva Licious affair as it is powered by Viva Plus. The Viva Niger 8 Fun Fair 2023 promises to be super exciting and fun filled as it holds simultaneously in two big cities, Lagos and Abuja. Get ready for the mother load of halal fun and entertainment. Featuring exquisite games and rides, bouncing castles, kids swimming pools and slides, PS5 games, exciting family competitions, karaoke challenge, colorful exhibitions, and several more fun activities. Activities. The Viva Niger 8 Fun Fair holds in Lagos on Saturday 22nd and Sunday 23rd of April 2023 at the prestigious Fun Factory, Admiralty Road, Lakey Phase 1 Lagos, and in Abuja on Sunday 23rd and Monday 24th of April 2023 at the beautiful city park, Amadou Beloway, Wuse 2 Abuja. Gate fee is 3,000 Naira flat. All games and rides are absolutely free. Just get your tickets and have fun till you tire out. Early bird tickets, 2,500 Naira. Air tickets available on Umma app. Visit www.thisumma.com Lots of prizes and gifts to be won, including a whopping 100,000 Naira cash for the Bears Dress family. For further inquiries or to book exhibition stalls, please call 0701-702-8460 or 0818-456-1610. This event is proudly sponsored by Viva Plus Detergent and Bigger Drinks. Also supported by... See you all at the Viva Lacious Fun Fair, inshallah. You're welcome back. This is where we reveal the menu that they will be cooking. In any case, they don't mind. Anywhere we come from, they're good to go. Um, so, fortunately, uh, rest for sure. Very simple though. Very yellow eba and rich elegusi. Rich being the catchphrase. Rich elegusi. Elemi. So, Judges, take notes. It depends on the number of ME that enter that FOL legacy that will know who takes home the bragging rights. I'm sure you're ready for me. Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, you're ready now. Like, I am. <laughs> is this blindfold holding That thing? is the problem. I know, right? Don't worry. You won't even know that anything happened. Oh, sorry. Oh, so you're supposed to be the same thing. Yes, you're cooking exactly the same thing. Now you get the drift. Because that's what makes it easier for the judge to decide who um, has the day. <laughs> cap cap, we ready? She says she's ready for you. Why are you threatening her? I'm not She says she's that. ready. Good. All right, please step to your right, right, stay, come for the beats. All right. Ah, yeah. <laughs> What's going on here? What's going on here? Blindfold yourself, blindfold the bow. Ah! <laughs> she's, she's sanctifying the bow. All right. Okay. You're good? Yes, I'm good. You step to your left. My left? Yes, your left. And come forward. Huh. Come forward. <laughs> there you go, that's your bow. Yeah, I'm ready for you. You have, don't mm. start picking, calm mm. down. You have 60 seconds to pick all that you need to make How yellow are you supposed eba. To... Are you supposed to calm down, calm down, calm down? You are making yellow eba with rich for legacy and your 60 seconds starts right now. Mm. If you need extra bowls, I'm here. The 60 seconds is running. Let me know, 30 seconds left. Go. Okay. F4, why is F4? You can stand. I can help you. F4, that. 
Welcome back. Let's figure out what we fixed for this. Um, incidentally, the Gary was right there, vegetable was right there, but they didn't get to pick it. So tell me what you fixed. If you just um, place it out on the bowl. At least Agusi made it, okay? Agusi made it. Chicken, chicken onion, onions, tomatoes, tomatoes, bell peppers, more chicken. More chicken. Okay. <laughs> more uh, there's chicken. even a rule. Ah. Everything is sorted. Iru is there. Uh, and, and lemon. <laughs> there's lemon, there's um, I think I... beef, ginger, gizzard. Uh -uh. Okay. Too much. Oh, yeah, no. Let's see. I and mean, then she picked pounder potato instead of gari. Egusi is there. So you're missing <laughs> gari, you're missing vegetables. That's it, really. You have everything okay. else, it looks like. Mm. But what's missing? Just the vegetable. Um, the F4. Yes, and Gary. And Gary. What did you pick? Let's see. Let's um. I picked of course. Great. Yeah. And both of them touched that Gary. How they did not carry it is still I don't understand. They didn't just feel like Gary. Yeah, e no. Fish. I have fish. A lot of them. Yeah. I have For more. Ah! Yeah. Meat. Chicken. Goat meat Chicken. with the skin. Hey, <laughs> only see this happening here. Gong gong. Inu ero. Shaki. Auntie Aisha. Still on still. <laughs> still on still. Oh, like he went to town. I when did, to this town. one is already giving me like seven lives. Seven Even lives. With my two lives. <clears throat> Let's go there. Lives. She has seven <laughs> lives. I have two. Yes. Two lives. Seven lives. What are we talking about? They say rich. For you. And then she took all the peppers that she could possibly take. So everything. We've got it. I have you. Did I see potato there? Someone said that I saw Irish potato. This potato. Mm -hmm. I know I know I know what I saw. <laughs> By the way, everything inside that place must be incorporated in this meal. So what? Yes. So how you mix the pando <laughs> potato the with gari to make that swallow? <laughs> yeah, with yeah. gari? Yes, you mix gari and pando potato, or whatever you do. But everything that you pick must be incorporated in your meal. Safe journey. You don't get. <laughs> <laughs> you don't All right, you have 40 minutes to cook, and your cooking time starts right now. In the course of cooking, you'll have a lot of challenges that will earn you the gari that is missing, the vegetable that is missing. Sometimes you have the opportunity, Aunt Aisha, to steal something from her kitchen if you ask her a question and she gets it wrong. So the seven lives she has can come down to zero lives at the end of the okay. day. That sounds interesting for you. Mm -hmm. eh. mm -hmm. uh -uh. Where is the sisterly love? Ah, well, I need some things there, really. Like, really, but if she gets it, I'll still not mind. Okay. Let's start off with, um, let me get to know more about you. Everybody knows you on the screens um, and you've entered Islam, you've created a new industry for the Muslims, a new industry in the entertainment space, um, halal movies. And it did with us now, I'm sure everyone here right now watching us has probably watched it or heard about it. If you haven't watched it, She's the brain behind a date with Asma. You want to catch up with that movie. So after a date with Asma, what has happened since then? Oh well, um, after a date with Asma, um, a lot, a lot been happening. I've been able, to, we've been able to work on 
two other different projects okay. dynamically as well. One um, is one that I mean, inshallah, might be showing the after it. Mm, inshallah, that yeah, would be beautiful. Um, that's um, um, it. Promised us gift. Uh, we, we try. We run the trailer. A couple of months back, and in Alhamdulillah. Yes, she did with her appetite, and we waited and waited and waited yeah, and waited and waited. You know what it is to the world, all of these things. Sometimes filmmaking can be very challenging. Please use the chopping boards, those knives are quite sharp. Thank you. If you need to use the knife, the chopping boards, thank, thank you. Thank you so pretty much. Um, yes, and the yeah. other one coming out soon as well. Yeah. We, we showed a bit of it yesterday at the Roundtable series. Oh, did we miss that? I'm giving the title for now. Okay. But it's really, really interesting. People should really watch out for Okay. Cafe Come Down. Okay, very well then. Let me come to Antisha very quickly. I know most of these things that she has said are part of it because you're almost always in um, similar projects. So tell me a bit more about this new upcoming industry. Um, I, I've had conversations with someone and you know, Cab, you can jump in any time. I've had conversations with someone and the person said, how do you call it halal? Why do you call it halal? What makes it halal? And um, he meant well. I mean, he was just trying to figure out why are you um, putting a title to it? You'll be disenfranchising mm -hmm. certain group of people. So what's the mindset behind this? So people yeah, understand what better called? what you're doing with this. Um, projects. Okay, so pretty much allow means allow. I mean, what is allowed? Everything that is right, following the rules of Allah, that we have a <laughs> mm -hmm. we have a guideline. And so, if you are following that yeah. in all aspects of whatever you are doing, that makes it allowed. So, for me, as a filmmaker, I will call any film I produce allowed mm -hmm. because I try to stay with. I did. I try not to go out of proportion. I stay within the limits of what I'm allowed to do as a Muslimah mm. and I make sure that whoever is working with me on the job is also not sinning. Mm. Yeah, because whatever we do that's against the rule of Allah, it's a sin and if you are, if you are, um, if, you, if you get to feature in anything that is sinful, that makes it around. Mm. And if you are trying to stay on the track, it means you are trying to do a lot. So would, do you get imams involved to critique your work? Are they involved in the process so that they can um, certify it toyib and pure, uh, true and true, you know, all the back ends, back scenes before we get to the screen? So we might be watching a movie and think, oh yes, they didn't do anything, but then behind the scenes, all of that, are imams involved in the whole process? Yes, every time, every time I do my convocation, I go to top, top most, like all the top imams that I think that I know. I can't start mentioning them, mm. but trust me, there's like, no project that is done that we didn't run through the imam. Okay. And other, I mean, everyone, I mean, like people of knowledge no. when it comes to Islam. No, no, no. Alhamdulillah. Like, what would you say the reception has been, actually, since you got on? Um, well, how's the reception been? The reception. Yes, how did people receive uh, the project? People, yeah. Everyone has received it wonderfully. Okay. In fact, they are, they are, everyone is watching out for the latest job now. In okay. fact, I'm so surprised because at the rate they call, the calls I receive every other day, mm. like when is your new job coming out, mm. this and that. Mm. So I know. Even, even a non Muslim like the project. You know, I agree I'm with you. Muslim, yeah. I'm not a Muslim, mm -hmm. but I like the story. I'll tell you what happened. Oh, by the way, yours truly featured in a date with us now. And I remember I was at um, ShopRite <clears throat> at ICM and somebody walked up to me and said, oh, I've seen you in the movie. I'm trying to remember now. I'm not a Muslim, but I enjoyed the movie. It actually makes a lot of sense. And it was something different from the norm. And I love the whole modesty and purity that, it, that came with it. And I just smiled because for the life of me, I just featured, I was not even a main act. So for her to have you know, remembered my face. That you were, you said like, <laughs> <laughs> me. So, you know, it, it must have made an impression on her. And Alhamdulillah, um, Inshallah Ta'ala, hopefully um, we have more of such in the industry because it's one thing to tell people, don't, don't, don't do this, don't watch this, don't do that. And then it's another thing to actually give an alternative. So it's a good thing that you've come up with this alternative for us. Um, Jazakumullah khair and barakallahu We pray for more strength, more collaborations, more supports, and yeah, so more. <coughs> yeah. 
More support. <laughs> Inshallah. And by support, everything. All encompassing support. We're going on a break. Um, Abdul Sami is waiting. He has kitchen hacks for us. When we come back from that break, there's more to come from the kitchen. As you can see, no burners on yet. They will now come and tell me, time. If there's not enough time. It's the same 40 minutes. So this food must be ready in 40 minutes. And um, also, there will be challenges for them so they can earn the vegetable that they need. And of course, they don't have Gary. At least, Cap Cap doesn't even have any swallow for us. So, why we just be eating vegetable for. Um, we'll just be taking a goosey, you know, LME meso for Sahur. But let's see. Hopefully, they get to um, dash through these challenges very quickly and earn their rewards. We'll see you soon. In this season of Ramadan, let us embrace the spirit of compassion, forgiveness, generosity, and self-discipline. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our ibadah as we strive to become better versions of ourselves. May our hearts be filled with mercy, our souls with kindness, and may our politeness take over our arrogance. Ramadan Mubarak to you all from Viva. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Viva Kitchen Acts. Viva Kitchen Arts is the show where we show you a couple of acts that you never thought or imagined you could, uh, you could do in the kitchen. Viva Kitchen Arts is sponsored by Aspira Nigeria Limited, the makers of Viva Dishwashing Liquid and many other products. We are here to learn our kitchen art. But before I show you what I have in store, my name is Abdusemi Okwadi, as you all know. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. This is Viva Kitchen Hack, as you all know. So today, I am here to show you how to open a proper tin tomato. We all go to the supermarket to get our canned, our canned food, like um, we have our sardines, we have our tin tomato, you know, all those preserved canned food that we use. So not to worry, today I want to show you a very easy way, because I know many of us, we go the manual way. So now let me show you what I have. So this is, for today I'm using tin tomato, right? So I know many of us, what we do residually is we take the knife, we start choking, 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 choking. And you know that you fall a risk of injuring yourself with the knife because you can just apply too much pressure and, you know, and that, that way you have it, your, your, your hand is becoming bleeding and the likes and it's not very good for you because you use the same hand to want to cook, want to wash all of those things and then hygiene comes into place. But not to worry. So this is our preserved food whatever it is whether sardine or tin tomato so you can either take take any of your utensils you have your fork you have your knife you have your spoon whichever then you just gently so you can see you slot it in well then we're doing this see so that's the first stage after doing that then you bring this back inside of it and you flip open. See? Easy does it. So and that's it. At least I've reduced the risk of injuring myself. So rather than struggling with your fingers, using your knife to be, oh, no, 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 you don't do that. You just get any of your utensils. You dip in, like I, like I showed you, either you can, you bring it in first, you chuck it in, then you take it the other way around, then you gently open. Going by the part two of this, I'll see you on the other side. You understand? See you on the other side. This is Viva Kitchen Act. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Viva Kitchen Act segment on Sour Kitchen. Today, like, we have, like I explained initially, we want to show you what you can do with Viva dishwashing liquid. So many of us will wake up in the morning, you try to open your wardrobe, you know, you start hearing the sound like... And that can be very annoying in the air. You know, you're waking up to a bright morning and you say you should open your, 
your wardrobe and your hinges are giving you is giving you this very squeaky annoying sound but not to worry that is why viva dishwashing liquid is here to serve a lot of functions for us you never knew that viva dishwashing liquid could do all of these things right yes that is why there's this is viva kitchen hack so today i'll be showing you how you can use your dishwashing liquid to reduce in fact remove those squeaky sounds that your doors, your wardrobe, your kitchen cabinet gives you. Get your Viva dishwashing liquid, whichever size it is. Then you pour, you squeeze a little bit on it. Then you rub it gently, rub on every inch, every corner of the inch. You can see how easy it is now. Who would have thought? Viva dishwashing liquid is what is doing that for you. So we've learned a lot today. Thank you. Stay tuned on the show. My name is Abdesemi Okwade. This is Viva dishwashing liquid kitchen hack. Till I come your way again, showing you many acts that you never imagined you could do. Ma salam. What is your definition of a lead day? For me, every day comes with its own vibe. Some days you just want to have fun with your best is. Other days you just want to chill and finish that series. Some days are for rolling up your sleeves and beating down those market prices. While some days are for the family and those nutty nephews and nieces. Luckily, we can enjoy these days and live life to the fullest, knowing that Viva is there to keep us spotlessly clean every day. Welcome back for a chance to win the gari and vegetables that you so desire to make your meal complete. Mm -hmm. The first challenge that is coming your way is each other asking questions. So you, Cab, get to ask Antesha a question. Hopefully she doesn't get it right. So that I'm you can have a headway. You, you'll try what? Yeah. Alright, so you get to ask her a question that she won't get right. <coughs> My, I'm hoping that by that you get a headway um, and then she gets to ask you a question as well. Do you want to go? Okay. Yes, your question. Okay, so... <laughs> Why are you looking at her like that? Dare ask a question, I'll do it when I get home. <laughs> right? Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what to ask her. Okay, let me give you an idea. I don't even know what to ask her. Eh, she, you two don't know what to ask her. If I give you ideas to be trouble, let me tell you what to ask her. You can ask her that, what was the color of the paint in the room that they kept you when you were shooting Chaworey there? And what was the make of the mattress that was on the bed you slept on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you yeah, know, I'm giving you an idea now. Okay. The question can come from anywhere, honestly. It could be something from the past that you expect that she knows but she doesn't know or whatever. It honestly can come from anywhere. And it can come from your field. What it can come from cash. What's village from Alam Shervan University? Uh-uh, that one she will know now. Uh-uh, uh-uh. She yeah, knows. I don't know. Uh -uh. I forgot. Ha, uh, no now. Uh -uh. You said I don't know. Uh-uh, no I try. I know no, no. You knew she would know. That's why I asked her. Yeah. Ha. Okay. She's not good with it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> we give her below the belt. Punch line. Ah, uh, that's, I feel, I feel hurt on your behalf. I don't know. <laughs> You get your Gary and that puts Yay. you that puts you ahead of her. Come I hope you me. have a question for her now. Bonus point, I'll just give you some Oporoko. Enjoy. Thank so you. that adds to your lives. Yes. Many lives. Hey. And Aisha, you can mm -hmm. come up. Your Gary is cooling in the cupboards. Your vegetable is ready for you. Is you that is not collecting? Please ask Cap Cap a question that she cannot answer. And you get to stroll to her kitchen and take anything you like. Eh? Any tobacco. <laughs> Any single item that you like. Oh yeah, ask her a question. She, you might get the answer now. What would you like to ask her? I'm coming. Ah, you cannot be coming now. Ask her the question you want to ask her. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, you need to cook. I will stop your cooking now. Hmm. What's my favorite food? Ah, so. That's easy now. I don't know. Ah! Do you, do you have a favorite food? Uh -huh. What's my favorite food? Do you have a favorite food? Yes I or do. no? She says she has favorite food though. 
Yes, no, just try at least something that's probably always cooking. No idea. I'll just try. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, no. Of the egg you see? No. Ah. So what's your favorite food? Rice and beans wow. cooked together. I forgot. Oh, so that's correct, actually. Yes. Oh, shame. All right. But you like to cook egg you too now. I do, but... That's not her favorite food. She has final answer, rice and beans. What would you like to take from my kitchen? Please take a stroll. that I like rice and beans? Please enjoy. Go to the kitchen and take Thank you very like. much. I'm coming. I can help with that. Just go ahead and take what you need from her kitchen. With my bare hands, right? Yes, you can. Only came on table fair. Ah! Don't worry, I'll bring the gary back. <laughs> Wow. Okay. <laughs> she just gave me this one. Um, um, uh, that was quite mean. That's very mean. <laughs> you, you, you get it. No, I'll bring it. You, you, I'll, I'll not you finish it. You can't bring it back. <laughs> I'll bring it. Okay, Sister Anna will help you. I'm going to go very quickly to Cocktail Boulevard. Um, when we come back from that, I'm sure Hannah has more tips for us to enjoy Iftar and Sahru with these mocktails. When we come back, the kitchen is still on. Um, things are heating up on this side, as you can see. Nothing on the fire here yet. She said she's okay. She'll catch up. We'll see you soon. Assalamualaikum everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of Biggie Cocktail Boulevard. I am Hannah Tamagaji. This segment of Sahara Kitchen is proudly sponsored by Rice Foods. They are the proud makers of Biggie drinks, Careless Energy drinks and Sosa Food drinks. As you can see, this beautiful gown that I'm wearing is made by Alamin's Place. Very cute, very pretty. It was very easy to put on and I like all of the... Um, it's pretty simple but cute at the same time. If you like yours, you know, you know where to go. On that note, I'll bring Mr. Emma in. Good morning. Good morning. What are we doing today? Biggie pie. Biggie, biggie, biggie pie. Okay. So where do we begin? Where do we begin? Animal stem glasses. Let's keep it going. So we start with our pineapple syrup. So what kind of syrup are we using? We are using 40. So because we're adding, um, how many of them? You said 40. 40. So since we're adding 40, that's eight. eight teaspoons. Yes, that's eight. So we should go with our biggie lemon, right? Yep. Right about now. If you missed any episode, um, episodes of Sahu Kitchen premieres on our YouTube channel at Sahu Kitchen by 7 p.m. every single day, so you can catch up on it. Or even if you've not missed any episode and you just want to go back and look at these drinks so that you can have a chance to win prizes when you share them with us on socials, you can also go back to watch them. It is at Sahu Kitchen. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you always see when we post. So why, why are we stirring this? Why are we not, why just are we not to building? We just... built already, so we need to stir it up or to bring out the pan. Straight it up. Are we garnishing this? Yes. We are what are we garnishing? We can use either basil. Okay. Meat, Basil is actually one of my favorite garnishes. Okay. So I like I like you smell it first before you actually ever taste it and drink. Anyways, as we actually, are finished, I know the one tasting this. My fans are coming. I beg you to come on. You push your entire TV now and taste it. For now, actually. <laughs> Not for now. Ladies first. Thank you. Bismillah. Mm. It's definitely very pineapple. -y. Yeah. You get the bitter, um, the biggie bitter lemon. Yes. Comes to the way, it's very, it tastes like very, very pineapple. -y. It's like, it's like you're having pineapple juice, but like a little bit of something extra. Just to come and sit there and bite. Mm -hmm. That's it. You so get a smidge of the rosemary. I feel like when you let it sit, that's what I'm saying when you sit. When you let it sit, mm -hmm. the rosemary can like release. More of its like flavors into yeah. it, and you can actually taste the rosemary. Now you're getting yeah. the first thing. See, whenever I pull my fans first, you give. 
Thank you. I literally see, I literally sit here every morning and I explain to you guys the flavors in this drink. But this brother over here always throws me under the bus. It's cool. It's cool. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Um, I've actually had an amazing time here. Thank you again, Mr. Thank you. I'm not thanking you for the bounce, I'm thanking you for the drink. I'm thanking you for drinking my drink. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for joining in. Um, if you missed any of the episodes, you can always go back to our YouTube channel at Saho Kitchen. New episodes premiere at 7 p.m. every single day. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss anything that we post. Thanks to our sponsors, the sponsors of this segment of Saho Kitchen, Right Foods. They're the proud makers of Biggie Drinks, Peerless Energy Drinks, and Susafu Drinks. So we come your way again. Masalab. Speaking of an Islamic event for Heed in the Future, Hadisha and Theatrical Concept presents a loud theater series 1.0. First edition of its ethical stage play inspired by the beautiful stories in Surah to Look Out. Get ready to see the interpretation of Islamic stories on stage in an allowed way. Coming up April 2023 at Ajib Recital Hall, Muslim Center, Oni Khan, Lagos. First show is by 2.30 p.m. Second show, 5 p.m. Normal seats, 5,000 Naira. Box seats, 10,000 Naira. Gender designated seats in Arrangement, absence of musicals and modest dressing is guaranteed. Mashallah. Mashallah. Get your tickets now by visiting www.selar.co forward slash pwld. For more inquiries, 80 This event is sponsored by Right Food Limited, Brandon Tools, Home and You, and Friend and Fate. Allow theater series telling the stories in the Allah way. Welcome back. We're down to the last 20 minutes in this kitchen. Things are really heated up. Pepper on the fire here. Meat here. In here, remember she picked potato, ginger, lemon. What she's done is to squeeze the lemon into this meat. Um, the potato is there boiling. I think that's part of her meat. So you know she has to do plenty of meat inside her vegetable lebusi. Nothing else is happening on the two burners. <coughs> oh, you're boiling water. I'm boiling water. What that's for the swallow? For the swallow. So the vegetable, okay, the pepper is on anyway. And here also, pepper is on. Yes, pepper is on fire, meat on the fire, water boiling, things are moving. Um, she still needs vegetable, she still needs gari. And so, fortunately, before the break, she already got her question correctly. I asked her about had three of the main things that needs to happen for you to have a hajj and she got it correctly. It's your turn. <laughs> your hajj question. Hajj Bawu. Where should I come from? Right. Good. I have my question. How many number, how many pebbles will a pilgrim have stones after four days? And show us your workings. Mathematics, show your workings. How many pil how, my hand, how many pilgrims? <coughs> yes, how many stones will the pilgrim have stones? Okay, seven only in, in, in all of the four days. Forty. Forty. Fourteen plus seven. Are you sure? How many jamara did you stone? Jamara made Are you sure? Did you go yourself or you sent somebody me to you? I went and I was very sick. Me and Becky and you were very... I went and I went and I was very sick that I couldn't even do my um, tower for um, the father. The, the, um, the last farewell time. tower. I did it after <coughs> every, everyone has gone. And then I went. It did so before, think again, it the jamrat, how many jamrats are there? Mm -hmm. well, I went myself, we went twice. Oh, you went twice? Yes. You went three times? <laughs> so it was chairs. No, let me explain. Hmm. On the first day you went, mm -hmm. which happens to be the day of Eid for us we here. To, we went to Musalifa. Um, 
left, we picked the stone. Yes. And then went back to the dam. We you... woke up to go to Jamra. To Jamra. So on the day of it, go, go, go. Yeah. You would have done only one. You'd have stoned one of the three. There are three. Ah, on the day of it, we didn't go to stone. We didn't go to stone on the day of Eid. You would have gone to stone one, the biggest jamara. Okay. Seven pebbles. Yes. You know we went in truth. <clears throat> yes. So on day one, you would have stoned seven pebbles. Okay. Thank you. On day two, what did you do on day two? We went to stone now. How many? We, were, we waited after um, Muzalifa, we were there after um, eight to go and do the jammer and the last time I went back to our hotel. So, but I could remember that we traveled twice. In fact, I was leading the, the me and Bombay, I was in the GR to Ginger, all the um, elderly ones and mm. um, these children. Yeah, but the last day I was very sick. Okay. Yeah. I will excuse you for the sickness. For those of you that are planning to go for Hajj this year, you might want to pick up books on Hajj, rights of Hajj. Yes, when they invite you for seminars, please go. Don't think I have an idea and I will learn it as we go. It's always best to be armed. So let me quickly school you on the stoning. There are three pillars. On day one, the day of Eid for us, that's Eid al-Adha, when we're celebrating, they will go and stone the biggest pillar, seven pebbles. Counts along. So they won just seven pebbles. On day two, they will go and stone all three Jamara, seven pebbles each. So on a particular day is 21. 21 plus the first seven, that's 28. They will go back on day three. Remember that eight is four days, right? But here, for someone that goes for three days, it is um, accepted. So day of eight and two days after. And some people will leave Mena. And that's the end for them. They go back to um, Maka to have their farewell tawaf and end of Hajj for them. Some stay back at Mina and go for one more day. So this is the calculation. If you stone for three days, three Jamara, seven pebbles per Jamara, seven times three, that's 21 times three. That makes 63 pebbles plus day one where you stone only one Jamara. That makes 70. So you are either stoning 49 or 70 and that's the calculation so if you do three days you yes, do 49 pebbles yes, right. if you do four days you do 70 pebbles and that's the correct position please learn all the rights of hard we prepare it 49 49 yes, we picked 49 yes. that's why so you went only three times yes. some would have stayed back and done an extra day and so they would have clocked 70 pebbles i'm gonna break when we we'll come back more to come from the kitchen It's about that time for the biggest Muslim family event in Nigeria. And this edition will be a vivalacious affair as it is powered by Viva Plus. The Viva Niger 8 Fun Fair 2023 promises to be super exciting and fun filled as it holds simultaneously in two big cities, Lagos and Abuja. Get ready for the mother load of halal fun and entertainment. Featuring exquisite games and rides, bouncing castles, kitted swimming pools and slides, PS5 games, exciting family competitions, karaoke challenge, colorful exhibitions, and several more fun activities. The Viva Niger 8 Fun Fair holds in Lagos on Saturday 22nd and Sunday 23rd of April 2023 at the prestigious Fun Factory, Admiralty Road, Lakey Phase 1 Lagos, and in Abuja on Sunday 23rd and Monday 24th of April 2023 at the beautiful city park, Amadou Beloway, Wuse 2 Abuja. Gate fee is 3,000 Naira flat. All games and rides are absolutely free. Just get your tickets and have fun till you tire out. Early bird tickets, 2,500 Naira. Air tickets available on Uma app. Visit www.thisumma.com Lots of prizes and gifts to be won, including a whopping 100,000 Naira cash for the best dress family. For further inquiries or to book exhibition stalls, please call 0701-702-8460 or 0818-456-1610. This event is proudly sponsored by Viva Plus Detergent and Bigger Drinks. Also supported by... See you all at the Viva Lacious Fun Fair, inshallah. Welcome.
welcome back. It's the last 10 minutes of this kitchen and things have advanced to a great extent. Look at this. The soup is ready. Yeah. Beautiful. My, let me use my arms now. Oh, beautiful, mommy. Beautiful. <laughs> this is beautiful. Mashallah. Okay. Oh, she's sucked to a wall. All right. So, is yeah. it the, the taste? It's like the little now. Sorry. But don't know. All right. So, Mama, mm -hmm. are we sure we're going to meet up? It's 10 minutes left. Oh, we'll I see meet your advice ready. We'll meet but up. My advice is ready. My advice is ready. Found a potato is not ready. It's ready. Vegetable soon. has not gone in. Egusi has not gone I'm in. Yes, yeah, so we are serving. Right. For your chance to earn this Egusi. I have a good Sorry, uh, Gary. Gary. You are missing oh, Gary. Yeah. And then no you, Yeah, your water is ready for. We hope that you will get it. And I really want you to get it. I should ask you a simple question. What is simple? How much of the Quran have you memorized? Well, for example, you recite one by the Quran, you recite it in a particular stage. Okay. I think maybe the first will be known. What other surahs do you know by heart? Surahs with um, Okay. Um, and the, I think any of the last ten surahs. Okay. Other surahs I can recite. So can you even can you arrange the last ten surahs in the order in which they appear? No, ma'am, ma'am, you said. Okay, boy, can you know the last ten chapters? In okay. any order, go for it. Last ten. Uh, no, just last ten. I just ten. Last three. Last five. No, last ten. Uh, sharp, 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 sharp. The last five. You, 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 Gary. The main, main, the main that we're going I to eat. In any order, I'm not even making you recite in exact order. Well, there you go. Recite the first. You in class. Mm -hmm. Fala. Mouse. 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 Um, the elephant one is filled. Uh huh. Tafirun. Five. See, you're doing well. Five to go. Oh, yeah, now. Sharp, sharp. See how you've scaled through. Oh, yeah, now. Um, Tabati Ada. Masad. Yes, see, now you're doing very well. Um, Four more. The Quraysh is there, absolutely. Three more. Three more. In our China, Kauthar, absolutely. No, Kadri is not here, he's not in the last ten. We are nearly there. Two more. Two more. I'll help you, Idaja, Nasrullah, Nasr, and the last one, Shratu Maun, Arita Levy, you can do with him. I think that's probably what you're trying to remember, but awesome job done. Well done, sis, well done. I'm very proud of you, but obviously, small work left. Face your uh, stars very well, low. Thank focus you. very well on what stars is teaching you. Mama, Thank what's you. going on here? Imagine you're introducing it small, small, small. in paste. Why? Because no, you want it to. Because I want it to. At least form a bit. Mm. It can I can't do it the normal way now. Okay. Because of time. Yeah. So you just for forever. Yes. I'm going a bit. Okay. So you are, are you pressured in any way? Do you feel yeah, any pressure? Yeah, yeah. A little bit. A little bit. Got time. Normally you would do it at your pace, but exactly. now you're under serious. Under serious examination. Indeed. <laughs> what would you like to um if somebody wants to come into your industry mm -hmm. and wants to maintain her dean, what would you say to that person? How would you advise? Somebody wants to come into this industry, wants you to mentor them. What would be your advice to this young, young set of people coming in, maintaining their dean, maintaining a, you know, um, decorum and all of that, making it work? They just, in, in everything they are doing, they just should fear Allah. Hmm. They should know that whatever they are doing, wherever they are, the Almighty is there, seeing, them, seeing us. So that should be their guide. Okay. Whatever you cannot do, where your parents are, where someone is, no matter what anyone says to you or try to do to you, just fear the Almighty. Hmm. That's mine. Interesting. Cup, cup. Somebody wants to enter your industry, wants to get into this halal space. Because um, eager to maintain the dean, eager to what would be your advice to the upcoming? 
against God, I'll use the word Allah, mm. living in obedience of Allah. Okay. We all know it in our heart. That's why some people say, why are you taking this thing so difficult? They all know the truth. I mean, if they are doing this right, you know. Now you don't care about the point or something. It's good that if you are still struggling, oh, you are making yourself yeah, yeah, just yeah, keep yeah, making the first. And I, I, I mean, with that intention alone that you are that you pay your route, Allah will make it easy for you. Mm. Just go on the right path, go mm. on the right track. Interesting. We are down to the last few minutes of the show. It's so seven for three. Leave something for the judges to take. For three. We're seven for uh, three of us. For seven for three. Once I tell you it's time up, it'll be time to turn off all the burners and hand me your aprons. However the food is, is how we'll eat it. So if you are yet to make this um, potato, pound of, pound of potato, we will eat it like that. Down to the last 20 seconds uh -huh. of this kitchen. Mama, wait. Mama. I'm waiting. I'm, I'm seriously waiting. It's really, the aroma in this kitchen is awesome. It's all shades of beautiful. Um, I can't wait to know who's going on with the bragging rights. Fortunately, um, Cap Cap agreed ahead of time that she has a boss. But towards the end of her conversation, she changed it and said that she's up to the task she can you know, measure up. Well, we'll see how that plays out. See Mama, now. See Mama ah. held her ground from the get go. Say, na me be leon je. Anything food, na me. So we'll see where that comes to. All right. I wish you all the best. It's time up. Please turn off your. I can serve again. <laughs> keep, so keep serving. Turn off the cookers, please. Oh, all done here. Turn off the cookers. Hand mm -hmm. me your aprons. Yes, please. Cookers off. I'm standing now. Hey, see, 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 before. Cookers off. Give me, let me have your aprons, please. Aprons, please. Standing now. Aprons, please. Come on, Gina. Aprons, please. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. It's potato, so don't worry. We'll be good. Can I have the apron? How are we doing? Pressure to work. Thank you, work. <laughs> Pressure to work. Can I have your apron, cup, cup? Uh, but we need to serve this food. Yes, right? keep serving. I'll go whilst I'll need any apron. No shaking. I'll have your apron, ma. Thank you. Yeah, well, I don't have to open up for you there. Let me. <coughs> Do you need me to help? Oh, thank you. I need to clean up, tidy up, wash. Um. Back to my favorite, my all-time favorite, Viva Plus detergent. I'm going to wash it with this. Once I'm set, once I set the machine on, I'll go and get the dining ready to enjoy this meal. I don't know who's going to win. They are looking good both ways. So we'll find out. The judges are waiting for us right now. What is your definition of a meat day? For me, every day comes with its own vibe. Some days, you just want to have fun with your best is. Other days, you just want to chill and finish that series. Some days are for rolling up your sleeves and beating down those market prices, while some days are for the family and those nutty nephews and nieces. Luckily, we can enjoy these days and live life to the fullest, knowing that Viva is there to keep us spotlessly clean every day.
You're welcome back. We are set to have uh, Sahu and this segment is called Sibigi Water. Your premium drinking water, your body sure needs it. You won't have this at Sahu and Iftar. And of course, gift it to family and friends. Um, you know, it's the best water for your skin, for your internals, for everything. You won't stick with Biggie Water. Right, we're also sponsored by Bedmade Furniture. If you love what you see, this glass table top, um, collapsible table, so you can actually reduce wow. it to cater, yes, to cater for less fewer people at the table. This you can do that and expand it to accommodate more mm -hmm. people. Yes. Wow. So um, visit any of the showrooms to engage with them and find something that suits your space. Right. Down to the business. You see what I have. You remember that? And I picked potato. <laughs> Ginger, lemon, what else? What other strange item? Pound of potato. We asked for a bar. How a bar became pound of potato, I have absolutely no clue. But chef, my chef, anytime. Anyways, I'm looking like for cocoa. cocoa. Plenty, I know. <laughs> Just so you. Not, it's not so obvious. So you must have exactly a lot of pressure. I'm um, mixing tried. it. I tried. Well done. Enjoy your please be eating. I'm just analyzing. I have the judges results, so the results are in. You know, all the judges voted for one plate, one single plate. I have to expand the judges to get more judges in. Because the initial set of judges all voted for one plate. I tasted the two. I have my own verdict. I have to import additional six judges to do this work for me. Incidentally, of all the nine mouths that tasted this food, six voted for one, three voted for one. You can see, six voted for this plate, and three of us voted for this plate. It's not a tie, according to the judges, but in my heart of hearts, it's a tie. Two different flavors, completely different flavors, but there's just something extra in this place. So if it was down to me to choose, I will choose this place. However, the judges have voted. I will not read elections. I will not obtain elections. I will not change score. IREV has given me results. We will announce it accordingly. And for that reason, bragging rights goes to you alone. The boss is always the boss. <laughs> Mm. Now you know, this one, I don't cook them. Anyway, um, that's the verdict. It is what it is. Um, thank you so much. It's a pleasure and an honor to have two heavyweights sitting at my table. <laughs> <laughs> to have two heavyweights at my table for mm -hmm. Sahu. Mashallah, Tabarakallah. I have a lot of goodies for them. But see, our sponsors, Right Foot Limited. Um, Viva Plus, so inshallah, we'll be presenting them with the gift. Come and enjoy with me. Enjoy the life that I'm enjoying here. Bye. Yeah.